A Castle for Christmas is your typical festive movie to get audiences into the spirit, offering plenty of holiday themes and a romance for the hopeless romantics. In the Netflix film, Sophie ends up in a rural village in Scotland and visits a castle that is at risk of being sold. Oxford and Cambridge. The grumpy duke, Miles, owns the land, the castle, and the area surrounding the village. He feels a sense of responsibility for everyone. So when wealthy author Sophie visits, who has an intrinsic family linked to the castle, so sentimentality wants to buy the castle, a reluctant Miles accepts, believing the deposit will cover his financial woes, and Sophie will not enjoy the life of maintaining a castle, and will eventually leave. Well, that's up for sale. This movie will definitely remind you of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Even though the ending was somewhat predictable, nevertheless, I still enjoyed the rom-com. Now, without further ado, I'm going to break down the ending of this Christmas movie. Maybe this is my next chapter. Just when things started going well for Sophie and Miles, Sophie had to go and ask Miles to stay in Dun Dunbar Castle after the 90-day escrow was up. By this point, Sophie and Miles had already started to develop feelings for one another, but didn't want to put a label on it. Sophie, thinking she had buttered up Miles enough, asked Miles to stay with her in the castle because she saw a future with him. Miles took her invitation as an insult. Since he's so used to pushing people away, he doesn't know how to accept love from anyone and finds it hard to trust others. He ruins things before they can even begin. So miserable, she realized a mistake. He's also scared of losing Dun Dunbar. Sophie and Miles argue, and Miles basically says that the three months they shared meant nothing to him. As a guest. In disbelief at what Miles is saying, Sophie calls their deal off and storms out of the castle. Sophie packs her stuff to travel back to the US and then tells her new knitting group of friends that she's leaving and won't be attending the Christmas Eve party. They all want her to stay, but she's adamant about leaving. As a gift for being such great friends, Sophie pays off their mortgages. She says her goodbyes and then leaves. After the car she's traveling in breaks down on the way to Edinburgh, she's forced to stay in Dunbar. Meanwhile, Miles is reading Sophie's latest book and begins having flashbacks of all the time they spent together. He then realizes that Sophie's the one. So he goes and apologizes to Sophie, they make up, and the pair goes to the Christmas Eve party at Dun Dunbar Castle. The whole village is having a good time at the party. Got me a plane ticket. <laughs> oh. Miles even promises his guests that every Christmas Eve from then on will be celebrated at Dun Dunbar. Then, we fast forward to Christmas Day, and Sophie and Miles live together in Dun Dunbar. Miles presents Sophie with a gift, and they share a kiss. We shouldn't be doing Yes, Sophie and Miles end up together. After Miles realizes that he loves Sophie, he shows up at her doorstep in an attempt to make a romantic gesture. He begins throwing snowballs at her window. Sophie goes to see what's hitting her window, but ends up being hit with a snowball right in her face. She angrily closes the window, and Miles looks dejected. He immediately hops on his horse and is about to leave when Sophie comes out of the castle and throws a snowball at him. Miles turns around, hops off his horse, and heads straight for Sophie. He holds her hands and declares his love for her. They share a passionate kiss and then head to the Christmas Eve party at Dun Dunbar. You could have locked the door. Lexi. Miles buys Lexi a plane ticket to Scotland so that she can spend Christmas with Sophie. This was another way of Miles saying sorry to Sophie for mistreating her. Initially, Lexi wasn't going to spend Christmas with Sophie because she would be attending her father's wedding. However, after Miles buys the plane ticket, Lexi skips out on the wedding and goes to Scotland. While at the Christmas Eve party, Lexi tells her mom that she'll attend her dad's next wedding. 